hello viewers welcome to my channel let's see how can we propagate creeping jenny plant in order to propagate creeping jenny plants we really don't need much access or resource tools we just need a moist soil and uh, scissors or cutters whatever is available in your home right now my creeping jenny plant is in the outside plant over it has a mix of all these plants like some color flowers and some different kind of plants so it's completely in the outdoor shirt this time i want to try my creeping jenny into an indoor plant let's see how it goes um, for propagation let's see which pieces has roots uh, like i'm looking for a proper tree Seems this has the roots. Can you see this? It has the roots over here. So I think this is the best one to propagate, and it is the longest stem as well. Let's cut into the. Let's cut this off, and we'll try for the propagation. yeah this is the part where i am going to do propagation you you can see there is the difference between the color of the leaves so the yellow part of the leaf says it's completely in the full sun that's why it's giving a yellow color when we try to do as a indoor plant it would be like mostly green color let's see how it also goes so if you observe deeply you can find the roots over here and this part will be called as the lower part and this part will be called as the upper part so right now what we are doing going to do is like we are going to remove all the leaves in the lower part of this plant let's do that now I'm removing all the leaves, extra strands of this lower part. Be careful while removing the leaves at the root area. See here you can find the root so be careful while removing the leaves. This, this is fine so this is how it looks when you remove all the leaves in the lower part of this plant or stem now what we are going to do is like we are going to plant this in this soil let's go okay i'm using reusable part for now like later i can shift into a good part so i filled with moist soil and we are going to place these roots into the soil so i'm just you know making some space so that i can place these roots into this soil okay i think this is good enough to place so like these roots should be into the soil so i'm placing it completely like this and leaving the upper part outside the soil it's really not necessary this part should be into the soil but we can leave it is as it is so the roots are really get into the soil and do a perm press like this and make sure all the roots are covered with soil and let's once it is done once the roots are filled in the soil now we you can remove the extra upper part of the leaf so that we can see how it's growing so right now i'm trimming the upper part portion till here and i just left like few leaves so it will get a chance to get more new leaves here make sure that roots are completely filled with soil which is not visible upside of the soil and now what are the plant all the best